the light. Three. Uh, it's taking a second for the video to show up. Hello world. <laughs> Where are you starting building? <laughs> uh, I guess the I guess the soundboard's going this time, so I can uh, oh, good. I can actually add effects now. So oh. <laughs> uh, I was That's playing fun. around with some of these. <laughs> they have a, a radio voice, a a chorus Oops. sound I here. Uh, let's see, uh, there's a... Yeah, yeah there's one. Oh, we just added an echo. Oh, but Dane can't hear it because she doesn't have headphones. Sorry, guys. Yeah, anyway, no. Don't mm. mind me. All right, yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll turn off the effects for now because that's kind of <laughs> distracting for viewers, but... So, okay, Dan, we are... Finishing the pixel art piece. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, I think if I don't make too many mistakes, it should be easy for this session, right? So we have the face. You've got the outline. Yeah, the we're outline. we're pretty pretty good to go here. Yeah. Um, but who knows? You know, after in a week, I forgot all the <laughs> shortcut commands, right? Left click, right yes. click. Uh, yes. It should be easy to come back, but after a week, I didn't yeah. remember much. <laughs> Thank you for your help, Chris. <laughs> oh, my pleasure. This yeah. is uh, Minecraft. Teach a librarian how to play Minecraft, and we are in our second season of this, I guess we'll call it. Uh, mm. yep. And actually, can I, can I talk a little bit about my my workshop idea of in course. the reboot room coming yeah. up. So, uh, hey everyone, this is Chris now. Uh, if you haven't been to Mitchell Park lately, we do have a new computer lab where we stream from. Well, it's a new old computer lab. It's called the Reboot Room, very appropriately named that. And next month, I am planning to start some learn how to play Minecraft sessions, but for adults and seniors. So this will probably be every other week. Uh, we have a bunch of different systems here to try out if you've never played Minecraft before. And I'm hoping to teach you everything you need to know in two hours, one hour. It all depends on how comfortable you are with uh, the keyboard and mouse or the controllers because I think that's a, would you agree Dan that's kind of like the hardest part of learning Minecraft is getting the yeah memorizing the controls and I, I, yeah and then you know control the direction you're going it's hard yeah and I still you know I see I see mostly kids using the touchpad the you know a tablet computer and I still don't know how they do it I've tried many times but that interface just does not work for me and it seems like uh -huh. everyone has their favorite way to play yeah uh, but you try to make a keyboard and mouse user use a controller you're gonna have a problem or at least that's been my experience so yeah uh starting in september yay sounds interesting <laughs> and let's see what else do we have what else do we have in store here? Vintage Media Lab is back uh, on what Wednesdays? Yeah, today's Thursday. We had our second session yesterday, but I think the schedule is getting pretty full for this month. Mm. So beware. Oh. Uh, you know, I just noticed, Dan, uh, uh -huh. the green screen is making your mask semi-transparent, which is sort of funny. <laughs> oh, I, we really? didn't notice that. Yeah, I could see a little bit of the when you switch uh, from the sand in the background to 
Yeah, right now it's a little bit darker. Oh, uh, the space key, I can't fly uh, up. I guess the uh, uh, double, oh, double yeah. click. Oh, double click, yeah, he's yeah. doing the P and A. Yeah, now you know how much I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> well, in a short, it has oh, been a month. It's not one so week, it's a few weeks, yeah. right? Getting to that sweet spot isn't that easy. Mm. Okay. Oops, I had the game down. sound turned off. Oh, the actually, they're back now, yay. Yeah, the set date. Maybe, can we try the oh, yeah. game rule? There's right? a, yeah, there is a way to, um, do I think if you do day slash day lock, night. yeah, or yeah, do daylight cycle false, maybe yeah. that'll. Uh, it's cycle. The commands. Is it true or false? False, and then I set it to day, right? And then oh. time oh, set yeah. day. Okay. So it should give us eternity <laughs> <laughs> daylight. <laughs> We're in the North Pole mm -hmm. now, where it's daytime for months. Okay, does that look right? Look right, I think. Yeah, do I need another? It's hard to say, to see, right? Because, like, yeah, at leveled. Um, hmm. Well, okay. I guess we'll figure it out later. Yeah, I'm we'll okay, I'm remembering now. You right. left uh, a gap in between so we could save time with yeah. the. Uh, but sometimes it becomes irritating. Because <laughs> 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 it's hard to see the black. Um, Yeah, maybe that's, uh, we might be able to adjust the TV brightness for that. Mm. Uh, okay, let's see what else is new at the, oh, we started uh, summer reading prize pickups. So that's new on the home page. See, we streamed two weeks ago. I think that's really it for new. Uh, there's there's definitely new books. You can get <laughs> <laughs> you can pick up your your favorite media. Um, yeah. But yeah, we've we've started doing tours here. Uh, Vintage Media Lab. Uh, mm. Yeah, what else can we? Are they labeled? Yes. Okay. I've started watching Sopranos. That's. That's really it for new stuff. But is it? Is there an extra block over there? Yeah, I couldn't see it. Okay, we can fix this. Whoa! Oh, that's an accident. Oh. <laughs> to attach these bottom ones. Mm. Yeah, sometimes people will bu uh, will build like uh -huh. scaffolding below there. Because uh, oh. I agree, it's like once you're flying, it kind of gets, yeah. it's like floaty. Or, or yeah, okay, let me do the this. The controls are a little bit. Yeah. 
Um, Although I wonder if there, uh, does anyone know, is there a way to make Minecraft, I'm, I'm Googling what I'm thinking right now, Minecraft flying slower, question mark? Let's see what that, decrease flying speed. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, this person says they're, they wanted to decrease flying speed. So let me turn down the, mm -hmm. the game music just kicked in and it's very loud. Uh, this is an interesting idea. They wanted to slow down flying speed so that they could do, ma like make uh, videos in the game more like cinematic drone shots. Mm. Like, that's an interesting. And then this person said, uh, I'm reading a Reddit thread right now, and they're like, use spectator mode, and the mouse wheel will change flying speed. But that's not going to help us in creative mode. So it, once you're ah. in spectator, you can't place blocks. Oh, so. OK. But that, that doesn't, yeah, I found it. Um, very interesting. So to move around, you should be very aware of left and right, front and oh. yeah. <laughs> that's the and like like they said, it moves very fast using a keyboard. Yeah. If you click it once, it moves a certain distance that might not. It would be, be better. Wrong. Yeah, on the the controllers, you could kind of like just do the D pad halfway, and then ah, it would. But yeah. It, I never thought of that. There's no way to like. Yeah adjust and to that's just why crawl I've been, yeah trying to very lightly touch my keyboard <laughs> <laughs> like uh, playing a piano yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind you of. know actually i wonder there's some windows setting somewhere that would let you change the clicks yeah like the number of key presses when you hold down mm. a, uh, Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the part, you know. I'm, I'm, I mean, maybe if you are like really uh, playing a game, does it matter that much? Yeah, oh, it, it it's matters. It's just flying. Right? It's just uh -huh. like kind of. <laughs> okay, so this, I'm, I'm looking back at this Reddit thread, and one person said, uh, if you're willing to use commands, let the player ride an invisible horse and then change the speed <laughs> of the horse. So, <laughs> yeah, there's a, you haven't seen this yet, Dan, but I think there's a, a there's a way to have like a bunch of horses in this game. Uh, that's a clever trick in this person. Yeah, I'll mm. paste the thread in so that people can, it is an interesting problem. Uh, uh, but it looks like there's also a mod called Cinematic Camera that might be, that might be handy later. Oh, okay. Yeah, this mod lets you create camera paths, including zoom, tilt, follow. Hmm. Okay, something is wrong with this soundboard. It's making the, I'm not quite sure why. Uh -huh. It's only, it, the music sounds fine and then certain instruments that are like high pitch, it seems to be distorting it for some reason, oh. which does not make sense because it's, I mean, it's a, a line oh, wait, USB. I throwed my block away. Oh, Guess no. what? <laughs> All right. You just found the Q button. 
Yeah, the Q <laughs> button. That's why I was like, wait, where's my blog? OK. Uh, so is it? Oh, there's a trick. Um, uh -huh. If you do the, uh, the middle mouse button, mm -hmm. that will clone. It'll grab whatever block you pointed at. Oh, yeah. OK. So, yeah, it's, so it's nice. Can, it keeps you. Yeah. <laughs> it saves nice. you from. Uh, now we learn the everybody learn same trick. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't have to have like 20 different blocks in your inventory. You can kind of yeah. keep it. Nice. Yeah. Now once I stop playing, I'm going to forget all of this. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's really just the WASD that's yeah. universal for yeah. most games, but. Oh, wait, we got a, oh, we are in the middle one. Okay, look, oh, okay, that's the next one, yeah. Um, see where am I like it's a 3d version right so okay so this way I can see the next line I got to new use the flower if I want mm. to make the flower like mm, I regret I should have picked a <laughs> color that's more <laughs> now one two three four five six seven eight that's the eight block I need right so Hmm. Okay. Um, well, I'm here, so let me do the flower first. Oh. Oops, uh. <laughs> chopped off. Fly up again. Okay, how about I go to the other side and do that flower first? Uh, I just had an idea with yeah. this. I, I think there might be uh, like a high contrast mode in Minecraft that would let us see. Uh, let's see. Need to get rid of one. Okay. No. Okay, I think so one solution to this problem mm -hmm. would be if we switched to a different texture pack, mm. then you could pick a you could pick one that has just brighter or um like a, a better replacement for this, I think it's wool uh -huh. that you're using. Oh. Instead of like replacing all of the blocks, mm -hmm. which we could do with a, like a world editor, oh. like a separate app, we could go in there and just say, nice. make all these, that. Yeah, copy, but paste. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that should um, make them much faster to, because. Mm. It makes sense, right? Nobody wants to rebuild. Oh, um, okay, that works too. All right, I think we're ready to connect the front ah. and the back. Okay. This um, is like the. Uh, we're like 90% there. We're like. <laughs> Guess yeah. what? I already connected some, oh. even though that's not needed. The Let's misclick. see. Let's go to the front and see. You know, it doesn't actually mess up. Okay, yeah, it doesn't. 
Okay, we can keep some secrets in between. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can make a portal. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's starting from. Um, okay, go down a bit. Um, maybe from bottom up would be easier, right? Or it yeah. doesn't matter really. Well, it, I don't know. I, I yeah. think placing the blocks. Um, yeah. uh, there's something to yeah. be said, yeah, about, okay, if you're looking up in Minecraft, it might be easier to oh. place a block outside of where you're trying to, because you can't. Yeah, I think you're right. If you're on, if it's, yeah, on the ground and you're just uh -huh. jumping up yeah. on top of each block, that yeah. does make it a little easier. Yeah. I mean, I can connect whatever way. Oh, yeah, these, well, this part's easy. It'll be probably the, the more like vertical area mm -hmm. once you're doing the, yeah. the waves and that. Well, um, you know, <laughs> guess what? You should never say it's easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that is often a surprising result. Uh, when yes. We, yeah. <laughs> Just as I was saying, it should be easy. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> um, a bit um, and then download it a bit yeah that looks good okay I don't want any of this I don't know which way I go okay so see it's moment like this will get me confused of wait mm. where am I going mm. Oh, yeah, that's uh, an awkward angle. <laughs> um, how stupid is that? Wait, am I connecting the... Uh, I think it might be too far. Uh, oh, it's yeah, not okay. Going upwards a bit. Like six blocks. Oh, That's a very unique view <laughs> of, uh, oops. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> okay, back yeah. up a bit. Where are we? Um, and then moving forward. That's not easy. <laughs> well, okay, of course, I can just, you know, take wherever and then back off. Um, I'm moving forward from this side. Okay. And then turning around. Find that sweet spot. I, I don't think I need oh. that one, right? Oh. I don't need yeah, that I, one. Yeah. Right. Um, and then, but I need to, there's one more. That's not, yeah. Get down. Signed out over here. Yeah. What's that about? Okay. All right. That's a good solid. All right. Yeah. That look good. Look good. It's just I didn't give you shove and neck. We can fix it later, right? Replacing the blocks, um, which might be easier. All right, back up a bit. Okay. Um, hmm, nice. 
Oh, here's the hand. So, uh, the hand. I think it, it should oh. be fine to keep it like that, right? Because it's. Uh, hmm. It's not like you have a block of hand, or maybe you have one another layer. Yeah. Maybe you have one more layer. That'd be good. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. The hand is. Is it number three? So Dan, yeah. you are, I think this is your third hour playing Minecraft ever. Is this third? And this is our third stream. Yeah. 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 So that's the third time I play Minecraft. Is there anything that, we're, we're in a uh, retrospective mode now. Anything that surprised <laughs> you about the game or things that you weren't expecting or, uh, I'm curious here about your, um, experience. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was surprised there's no way to um, copy paste this. The, if I have, mm. you know, that's the surprising part. Yeah. And then the moving around part, it's also surprising because it's not as intuitive as I would assume. Mm -hmm. But um, otherwise, it's been, it has been a good uh, experience. Yeah, it is very manual, yeah. and every block by block. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I guess uh, maybe a lot of people like it simply because it the manual process too, right? It's like you're mm. you're actually uh, you're actually building building things, you know. It, yeah. It's faster. <laughs> you know, it is still faster than you know in the real world you build something. Yeah, I never thought of it that way. You're mm -hmm. right. It's like a, it is very yeah. crafty, yeah. sort of. I mean, it, well, that's, and it's in the name, too. Yeah. <laughs> like, but it, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's almost like knitting. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's uh, creative. It takes, the fact that it takes time is part of the, uh, um, uh, joy, enjoyable part. Yeah. 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 I think so. And, and just the fact that because it takes time, it, it has a tendency to make time like go by really fast or slow. Yeah. Because you're you're focused on that thing. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. I think that's mm. the way to fix it. While we were talking, I fixed their arm. <laughs> There's something <laughs> wrong. See, that's nice because it's something you wouldn't notice yeah. because it's all black. You I couldn't see it. But then what? Oh. Okay. So. There, we need a uh, black box. Okay. Yeah, so depending on the person, right? Like if you enjoy this, you know, mm. nice uh, relaxed mode to build up something. Of course, I haven't played the game. So True, you haven't done survival yet. You've yeah, done creative. Uh, but the thing is, I'm I wouldn't call myself a game player, uh. so I was I would be really nervous. You know, uh, it's like it's required to move very fast, right? You need to have that mm. quick reaction when playing a game. That's not my thing. So I've been avoiding, you know, mm -hmm. playing games. And thank you, DJ Kevlar in chat, uh -huh. who. Uh, She's sending you words of encouragement. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if you know. <laughs> She's, uh, Dana's looking at the big screen, so. Yeah, it's I It's my job see. to <laughs> watch the chat room. Uh-huh. Yeah, the other thing, just to go off what you're saying, I think mm. creative mode is interesting mm -hmm. because there's some players who will do large like they'll go for the huge statues or the giant buildings uh -huh. but then there's another 
sort of subset in creative that is all about the small, like, the detail, like, uh, the s building the smallest house with the most detail oh. versus, uh, early, Just it, go gigantic. Stuff, hmm? gigantic buildings and stuff. Yeah. And you, you know, it's interesting. Recently, I learned there's that thing. There's a word for that. Um, like, people are hmm. uh, attractive to gigantic architectures. Something yeah. Something starting with a B or something. There's a short term for that. Hmm. It's like huge, you know, like out of the, the world pyramid. equation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I, I never know, you know, that's a thing until, oh, Oop. see, um, I'm not good at multitasking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's like this, the scale of things mm -hmm. is kind of. Like the Stonehenge, mm. you know, there's a certain group of people apparently. Mega structures, yeah. they call it. You know, maybe you can create a miniature of the world in Minecraft and then mm. another gigantic world in Minecraft. That would be interesting. Yeah, what is that? I've definitely seen builds where people will use the... Oh, here's another thing where you haven't... Because you're in creative mode, you haven't seen it. Uh, there's the whole nether portal system in survival. Yeah. That lets you kind of do some teleportation type stuff. Oh. Uh, so like playing with scale. Uh, you know, like you could go through a door and then be in the um, like Alice in Wonderland type. Okay, now you're mm -hmm. in the miniature version of the world that you were just in. Yeah. Using like a copy paste, but also kind of it's uh, it's not the same. It's just uh, in that Minecraft world a duplicate uh -huh. that is. I don't know how to say this. It, it, it's, a, it's a sleight of hand because it's not actually the same area. It's just uh, that same Minecraft world in a different coordinate, I shall call it. Uh -huh. Cool. Yeah, there's got to be a lot of things happening in the Minecraft world, right, uh, Chris? Like you did the cybersecurity one. Oh yeah, the, right. well the the Minecraft for Education and then the code builder thing yeah. that goes with that. Mm -hmm. It is really um, there's so much there. Yeah. I mean it's it's been out for like over a decade now, mm -hmm. and it's been continually developed that whole time. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of history of just stuff built in that. Which to me is kind of like the more, one of the more interesting parts of it is like you can go online, you can search for problems and find the wrong answer because it's only true for the version six <laughs> years ago. <laughs> so you have to do some of that like, oh, you know, this yeah. is a, a, a critical library <laughs> skill that we try to teach people is like, how do you evaluate information? Like, are you checking the timestamp on that forum post? because that thing might not exist anymore. Maybe the developer for that plugin oh, gave yeah. up. So I mean, is it open source Minecraft? It is, right? Or uh, it's not? It's, uh, the now, if it's not open source, the company should do a better job to, uh, while developing new functions, keep the old functions working in new versions. Yeah, well, th they've kind of done that because mm -hmm. in the launcher, you can always you can always go back and play previous versions. Mm -hmm. Like once you upgrade, you're not locked into that version. Oh. So there are servers that are still doing like version one one sixteen, which is like three years ago. Oh. And they'll stay in that version for as long as they can. Uh huh. Uh, but yeah, it is. Oh, here's that. Gonna yeah, you know, it would be nice if you are in the, you know, saying, um, right, okay, so I have another one more block here. Um, it's like closed source, but it is the, uh -huh. the plugins and the extensions, that 
that part is very well documented, and there's a lot of people who, but uh, it's like plugins on top of plugins that uh -huh. have been made. Okay. So, you know, like custom scripting languages and. I'm stuck. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, there is a teleport command we could do to get out of that. But. Okay. You painted yourself into Wait, a corner. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> what are we talking? <laughs> I was like, what am I doing? Oh, we are at that awkward um, this arm oh, thing, yeah. right? Yeah. This is this is hard. Um, right. Okay. What am I doing here? Yeah, there's not really oh, yeah. uh, like. Because black um, blocks, I would not recommend building it with the black color. It's too hard to see. Mm. This one also has a repeating texture, so it's hard to yeah. tell where the edge starts. Yeah. Like some of them will have an outline, so you yeah. can like. Uh, and also because I picked all the blocks, they are all woes, so right. they do not have, you know, Reflections or you're already into advanced creative mode now. You're like yeah. thinking about the the yeah the there's lots material. of blocks that are similar colors, but you can mm -hmm. kind of get an effect with different. Um, ooh, I gotta I gotta chill down that background music there. It just got all like loud and dramatic as we were talking <laughs> about textures. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's sort of a. I mean, it w the number of blocks that are similar plus the texture packs, you can really make it like look almost completely different. Yeah. And then there's high-res texture packs, too. So this is really low. I mean, it's, I, I would say the, uh -huh. this is the reason why Minecraft is popular, because it is low-res like this, and it is, uh. Uh, yeah, it's it's sort of retro, but not. But you can have, like, there's there's high definition textures, and it it can. If you add ray tracing on top of that, and it looks like a completely different game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's cool. Oh. And maybe, uh, that'd be interesting to do someday when we get the the mm -hmm. PlayStation Five version mm -hmm. running. Oh, do like a side by side in the lab for people mm -hmm. to see. Like, here's the. Yeah, actually, yeah, now I'm thinking of it, uh, that would be really fun to show, like, because I don't think from the start you might not realize that, like, the tablet version has a really limited uh, field of view. So, mm -hmm. like, you can't see as far in the distance, but then you load the same level in a fast computer, and you can see for, like, what seems like a mile or two. Wait. And you can kind of see it right now in this one, too. It's like the world just disappears, like, mm. but there is more level past that. It's just not being rendered. I forget what that's called. The draw distance or the render? It, it's in the settings, though. Mm. Well, I think you might finish this one. Yeah. We've uh. got... 20 or so really minutes mean. left, and okay, that's you can <laughs> yeah, I'm making good progress, finally. I mean, uh, a lot of people can probably do this much faster, um, but that's the, that's why we call it teaching a library and do <laughs> Minecraft, right? <laughs> yeah, it might be fun when this design is done, is we could try to export it. Uh -huh. So you can have it as a 3D file. Like oh, yeah, that we could be make cool. it into an STL, or, or I think that's the file format, right? Uh, yeah. And then 3D print. Yeah. There's a, uh, let's see. I forgot what that was called. Um, I'll just search Minecraft for 3D print. OK, 
Okay, it looks like this program mind waves can do it. But they show it with the fancy 3D printer that does the different colors for each block. Yeah. Okay, I'm reading through the instructions right now. So it looks like once you get this app, you tell it what layer height to start at. And then export, it has like a, a box, rectangle, you say select this area, and then it just has a control P to export to 3D printing. Huh, so it's that easy now. Hmm. I remember this was a lot more complicated, like... In our day? Yeah, when... Gosh, when was that? Like, uh, because I did, uh, in grad school, I did a project around makerspaces, and I visited a bunch of them. And, oh gosh, when was this? This was probably 2014. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I remember one of one of the makerspaces we toured. They had a table just full of Minecraft 3D prints, and they mm -hmm. were like, "This is this is the the most popular part of the tour." <laughs> just looking at these, <laughs> but it was cool because they were choice. they were printed in like they were like color 3D print, so you had all the different blocks in there. Oh, so nice. I think the ones we have would just be one mm. one type. Or maybe we could, there's probably a way to like start it and stop it with different filament to get some sort of effect like that. Mm. But Yay. that's not my, that's not my area of expertise. So we'd, we would have to we can, do some test runs. Yeah, we can always test. Wow, okay. Yeah. Wait, is that? Oh, okay. That's no, we're not done. Another flower. We still got a. Yeah. And then, hey, let me check. Is uh, something. Uh, how can I go out here? Yeah, okay, here, still need the lab. Then. <laughs> so we were talking about uh, the different uh, blocks and the textures and the colors and things. <laughs> another another element to this when you're in survival mode is yeah. picking things that are not flammable because there are, oh, there's lava yeah. and there's fire and stuff. So yes. your wolf statue would be very, uh, yeah, you know, just be uh, very cautious with the campfires around this one. Yeah. But. Not good in California. Yeah. We have a lot of wild flowers. <laughs> yeah, thankfully we haven't had any smoke from, I mean, I haven't. Oh, this year, yeah. The Yosemite one just kind of like mm -hmm. went over us, it seems yeah. like. Yeah, only the Yosemite. Um, is that, I think that's it. Uh, let me take a, like, move around this yeah. statue, make sure we connected everything. Except uh, uh, at the very bottom, her foot, I think. Oh. Um, but, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. Clap, golf clap over here. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone, <laughs> congratulate Dan if they're. I'm the very excited. Build. The uh, finish of this one. It's a giant thing. And I like this. Is it started as a drawing, right? And then. Oh yeah, let's then you show made that a, drawing. Um, uh, let me see the which button. I always find it interesting when you have something creative oh, that yeah. switches mediums like this. Do you see it? Yeah, you know. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the in the upper right. Art. Yeah. Start from a little kid, the six-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> and we you rebuild it. Alive. I probably picked the wrong material. All walls. Um, wow, but it does give... Yeah, I, I mean, it's... That's, yeah. that's the drawing. I wonder if there's an easy way. Is there a way for you to replace a model's blocks? Like, this is all walls. 
And I don't want it to be worse. Is there any way to change yeah. those blocks once I you think build it? One, uh, It'd be nice if they have that. MC World Edit, I think, is there, there's a couple different apps that are mm -hmm. like map editors are called, and then you can yeah yeah you can select copy paste. I'm sure all that. people will change mind, right? As yeah. they're building things, you know. Oops, this is not right, not what I wanted. But I've already built like ninety yeah. percent. You don't want to <laughs> spend another three hours changing the or shifting it just one block over. <laughs> like that sort of, oh, those sorts of problems. The, oh. yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. I well, guess this year will stay wool. Yeah. Wool based. <laughs> Very A <warm>. nice plush toy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a, yeah, insulated uh -huh. statue. Yeah. Is there anything good with wool material in Minecraft? Like in what situations yeah. you will so consciously pick? Yeah. It's it's used a lot because you can you can farm sheep and then with the different dyes that are in the game oh. you can convert that white sheep wool. Oh. Or actually you That's can somehow make the sheep be different colors too. Oh my goodness. Which I don't remember how you do that. But yeah, there's a way to that's like one of the few blocks that you can That's actually fun. shift the color oh. once you've collected it. Okay. So it is, I mean, it, it's used a lot, just like the... Um, it is a useful resource. Yeah, concrete mm -hmm. and leather, you can also, in-game, mm -hmm. change the, you know, without having to remine it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it is kind of popular. The, mm -hmm. what are the ones, the tile ones, you can do something sort of like oh, that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many materials are there? Oh gosh, how many? Oh, let's tiles. Google it. Thousand? Uh, Hundred? Oh, thousand? Yeah. This is a good Minecraft trivia question. Mm. There, okay, this that's mm. not specific enough, Wookie. It <laughs> says there's over 150. Okay, 150. So, but then, you know, they add, every so often they'll add a few to an update or, mm. yeah. And is there like a online Minecraft world where people can put whatever they created into that world? You know, like a like a showcase kind of world. Oh, there's tons of servers. Yeah. Tons of servers. Yeah, yeah multiplayer is pretty popular. Yeah. Um, and then on those servers, they might have different rules about like where you can build or like mm -hmm. what size. Yeah. Uh, Actually, that's one of the, the nice parts about the education edition is it mm -hmm. makes it easy to kind of, it's like a collection of different plugins that already existed mm -hmm. for the commercial version of Minecraft, but it gives mm -hmm. you a single app mm -hmm. as a teacher that you can say like this person has, it's like changing their read-write ah. access like on the fly ah. without having to do like remember all the command lines. Right. And things. So that's useful. Oh, that's nice. Uh, what else? There's yeah, there's kind of, um, I mean, there's definitely a, a pretty big part of the community is people taking screenshots of what they've made mm -hmm. and like posting it on in the forums or mm -hmm. on social media and like getting that kind of, mm -hmm. that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, been around true. since the very beginning with Minecraft. It's <laughs> like asking for like, how should I do this? Or <laughs> did I do this? Like, do you like this design? Yeah. Or, um, yeah, actually, okay, another sort of, like, Minecraft humor thing is, like, people will post things that they clearly imported into, mm -hmm. like, a, w using a world editor. Yeah. It was, like, super complex, like, structure, oh. and they're like, oh, yeah, I did that block by block. It's like, <laughs> no, you didn't. You imported a 3D model Wait, of a circle, okay, and then, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, or, uh, yeah, it's just, like, uh, yeah, like, who are you kidding? We know that it was yeah. uh, a 3D model that you took. You know, it'll be else. interesting if uh, uh, Minecraft can record. It, it has a record, say, for the thing you created. Like, mm. I'm thinking about blockchain, actually. Mm -hmm. So it has, a, it has a record of how you create a certain thing. And then, you know, based on that, you know, people can view more. It's like, you yeah. know, we are librarians. 
I yeah. think we're talking about meta, me, metadata. That's part yeah. of the metadata, right? Descriptions and of how this thing is created. It sort of exists through, there's the marketplace where people have levels that you mm -hmm. can either download, or you can pay with coins, mm. that, which is the Minecraft currency. Uh -huh. Or there's also, people will post, instead of the entire world file, which is like, could be, you know, a couple megabytes to a gigabyte, they will also instead post a schematic file that mm. you load, which is just the instructions to build it in the game. Oh. So it's like, it's not yeah, the whole, the whole cool. like volume of it, but yeah. like, but also the yeah. instructions. It's oh, just like the cool. blueprint, yeah, the outline. Yeah. So that, and that's another like, uh, yeah. one of those mods or extensions mm -hmm. that makes that easier to do. Yeah. But nice. you know, yeah, a lot of it's kind of like third party, which is interesting. It's uh -huh. like fan forums or oh. subreddits or yeah. a Twitch or a Discord oh, channel that user generated content. Yeah. And it, it goes back to like, you know, the very beginning of the game when it was, uh, before it was bought by Microsoft and there was a mm. lot of just sort of, how to call it, hacking, I guess. Mm. Like it, it was a lot more people just like trying different things out in this game engine. Mm. So, and, and since then it's kind of got a little bit more locked down with like what you can do. I think part of that was like, there was also some rule changes around like making money if you had a server. Mm. Like you're not supposed to charge people for access mm. or like, I, I forgot exactly how this. Yeah. It was like the pay to play schemes of like joining a server and then if you gave the server owners more money, you would get better weapons. And mm. like that whole part's a little mm. bit shady sometimes because yeah. it's like a gray area. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like my world, my rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and actually, so there's, we're going down a rabbit hole here, but there's this whole thing like a couple years ago with uh, uh, like denial of service attacks between different Minecraft servers. Ooh. So like to be like the most popular server, oh. if they were shady, they might do things like try to take <laughs> another server offline Oh, that's like, not very Yeah, nice. it's that's very, mean. yeah, it's, Ew. it's a, uh, there's a long history of Minecraft server <laughs> stuff out there. Uh, yeah. I don't know, what? should we, we could preview what's happening at the ne next month? Mm, yeah, sure. Uh, I'll have to show you, uh, actually, yeah, I think you'll be able to get there from here. I don't need to log in. Uh-huh. So, so yeah, if you go to get out. Yeah, you'll have to so exit and save this world and then I think I've invited this account. Yeah. So I um how to exit again? Oh <laughs> <laughs> do uh just escape. Escape key. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm, Save I'm giving Dan all these instructions and I haven't <laughs> told her what to do. Okay, so it's, it is saving, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, try, I think under multiplayer. Multiplayer. It should be there because I have, no, no, that's the one that we did. That's the tour we did a while ago. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh, okay, sorry. Okay. That's this so this okay. might be more complicated because it's in, we're in Java version right now. Oh. Yeah, it's we need to go back to yeah. Bedrock. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Well, what does this say? Oh, there's a pop-up. People can couldn't say. It says Windows Defender Firewall has blocked some features. Uh, Allow access. Worried. Yeah, we haven't done uh, we have done multiplayer on. Oh wait, it need admin password. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, you can you can X out of that because yeah, it's no, yeah, cancel. Yeah, yeah, it's in the the separate. Um, mm. So, and I don't know if I've talked about this yet either. There's the Java version, which is multi, like kind of multi-platform, and then Bedrock is the really started off as the Windows only one, but now mm -hmm. it combines a lot of the consoles and the uh, like the tablet version which used to be a separate version. Mm 
Mm. A few years ago, they kind of consolidated those all under the, uh, the Bedrock mm. name. Well, since we, yeah, we had a couple minutes left. Yeah. I think I'll just, I'll hint at it. <laughs> so uh, next month, uh, oh, actually next stream in two weeks, we'll probably be doing dreams again. Mm -hmm. And then start of September, uh, first Thursday of September, we'll be back with a library based build, I'll call it. Mm. Building a library. Mm in the game, yeah. in creative, and... And uh, multi-people can... Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, you know, this is good because it'll give me a chance to That's publish awesome. the blog post yeah. so that you can get to the file mm -hmm. and you can download it. We'll, we'll build our version on stream and then I'm hoping that people will uh, be interested in showing their own version of this right. building. Right. That I already had a preview. <laughs> <laughs> no spoilers, just it. You'll have to, uh, actually, let me, I'll remind you. Go to the Game On page. Mm -hmm. Go to Game On here. That is our website. And yeah, there will be a post. I'll probably link to it in the description in the event mm -hmm. in there. Sounds so. good. Yeah. Yes. That's exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And hey, Ryan, you just. Yes. <laughs> oh, Ryan he's just not microphoned, but. Uh, you built the building? No, we finished the. We finished the Sirsha. Sirsha, yeah. Yeah. Right, we can. Maybe I can show. Let's show Ryan. It's all completed. It might take a few minutes. Okay. We have filled, we, uh, she's uh, 3D it, now, uh, fully 3D. 3D. Yeah, a giant. <laughs> oh my lord. You built the Seisha? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. we can probably it takes export four sessions, too. right? Four sessions. Three? I think this is number three. Three, okay. Yeah. Three sessions. What, now, where did the island come from? Oh, that's the original world, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we just did it. Um, mm -hmm a procedurally generated creative mode. Is this island like part of the Minecraft, like tournament Minecraft world? No, this is just one of the, okay. there's like probably 20 different biomes. Yeah. And so we just randomly got the jungle one on a small island. Look, I'm good. But See, I can still turn it around now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Are we, I think that's, that's it for our session today, right? Yeah. Uh, sign up for tours around. in the lab. Yeah. We'll do that for another couple weeks. I think there's one, there might be one slot open tomorrow still. And ooh, summer reading. You need to pick up your prize. Oh, yeah, you need to pick up the prize. prize so we can do the donation on your behalf. Mm. So uh, if you're on our homepage, you know how to do that. Mm. But you can't miss it. It's a giant banner. <laughs> so. Like a squid. Or oh yeah, there's some yeah, uh, sea creatures in there. Go there and take oh, a look. Oh, a turtle. Is that a turtle? Yeah, it's a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, a squid turtle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe. Yeah. What's the material of the turtle? Yeah, I actually, wonder. you can. There, there is a shell that you can get from that. Oh, there's a shell. See, I don't know. I would you build Sisha in shell. <laughs> All right, nice. Okay, so <laughs> she's not lonely. Yeah. <laughs> All good news. Uh. <laughs> right, I'll stop um, right. the live stream.